And our next story with Indonesian ambassador to Sweden, Kama Pradip Dai Sonomo, and his Saudi Arabian counterpart, Enesa Al Shawan, initiated a significant diplomatic event in Stockholm last week. It served as a dialogue platform between all IC member countries with the Swedish Parliament and the Stockholm City Council. Now, the occasion involved breaking the fast with a mix of Indonesian and Saudi Arabian cuisine. The event focused on promoting mutual understanding between Sweden and the OIC member countries. Live discussions over dinner provided all parties to foster collaboration in addressing common challenges and opportunities. This prominent diplomatic gathering took place at the residence of the Saudi Arabian ambassador to Sweden and was convened through the joint efforts of the Indonesian ambassador Kama Pradipta Isnomo and the Saudi Arabian ambassador to Sweden Enas Al Shawan to invite the Swedish Speaker of Parliament Andres Norland and the President of Stockholm City Council Old Borough. This event is meant to create harmony, tolerance and understanding between Muslim culture together with the Swedish society. During the event, a highlight was made to show similarities of the West and Southeast Asia's culinary heritage with the ambassadors presenting a delightful array of Indonesian and Saudi Arabian dishes as part of the Ramadan breakfasting dinner. The cuisine showcase not only tantalized the taste buds but also served as a tangible demonstration of cultural diplomacy, fostering cross-cultural understanding and appreciation among the attendees. Recent developments such as Sweden joining NATO and the situation in Gaza were discussed in a cordial and candid manner over Iftar. The two guests of honor took the opportunity to deliver a message of peace for Muslim in the auspicious location of Ramadan. I would like to wish all Muslims Ramadan Kareem. May Ramadan bring all humanity together in the spirit of peace, respect and friendship. It's an honor for me to express my wish for a time of reflection during Ramadan, which actually this year goes together with the Christian Lent, the fast period, which gives us all the opportunity to reflect on solidarity and also for all the people that suffer today and to be grateful about the life quality that we have ourselves. As Sweden continues its engagement with OIC member countries, such gatherings serve as catalysts for fostering deeper ties and forging meaningful partnerships in pursuit of shared goals and values. Manu Gisano, Muhammad Ligar, reporting for Sea Today from Stockholm, Sweden.